Hey guys, how's it going and welcome back. Today we're going to be checking out how we can get three different Dark Matter bracelets in Final Fantasy XV. Quickly for those of you who maybe don't know what this item is, it's one of the best accessories available in this game and what it does, it gives 100 plus strength for each one equipped which is quite a lot. It's not the best accessory in the game, but it's definitely up there with the best. Anyway, let's jump straight into this. The first one we can obtain is for getting to level 10 Hunter's Rank in Final Fantasy 15. The way we do this, and the only way to do this, is doing every single one of the hunts available. Um, if you haven't finished the game, I would definitely recommend doing a few hunts every time you make it to a new area and stuff like that. Because if you do it like I did, I didn't really do any hunts whatsoever until I'd already finished the game. And then it becomes quite boring just to do loads of low level hunts in a row when you're level 99. Also, a quick side note, for those of you who may be missing just one hunt and you can't seem to find it and you've been around the map like three times and nobody seems to have any more hunts, what you need to do is you need to complete for some reason all the side quests um, from the fat photographer in Lestalem. And once you're on his final quest, if you go to Altissia and talk to the, the tipster there, he will actually give you the final quest, which is the one I will be showing you here in the background of the gameplay. So anyway, once we have finished our final hunt, as you can see, we will be awarded with our first Dark Matter bracelet. Just two to go now. The second one I'm going to be showing you is actually the easiest and the simplest one out of all three. All we need to do is get over 80 crates, 80 chocobo boxes, 80 pieces of wood, whatever you want to call them, in the Justice Monster 5. It has to be the one in Altissia, the one I'm showing you here on screen, that costs 10,000 gil to play each time. You cannot do this on the ones that only cost like 10 gil. It has to be on the expensive one. What you want to do, you want to get 80 or more chocobo boxes and then quit. Make sure you don't go over 90 because once you hit 90, I think is the next checkpoint. And then if you quit, you'll get the item for the reward for 90 instead of the 81. So as soon as you hit over 80, you want to make sure you don't make it to 90 and then quickly back out. We will be awarded with our second Dark Matter bracelet. I haven't actually confirmed this myself, but I'm 99% sure you can actually farm as many Dark Matter bracelets you like out of the Justice Monster 5 machine. And a lot of people have been saying you can, so I'm pretty sure you can probably just get as many as you want out of the machine which would probably be the best way to go if you want more than two, because the third one is a real nightmare to get. Even if you're like really overpowered final level, you're going to struggle a lot getting the final one. And after saying that, I'm sure a lot of you already got a thought in mind of where this could be. That's right, it's in the vault door in Kosumark Tower. That annoying dungeon where we can't use items, and I don't know how many floors it was, but it seemed like it had like 90 floors when I was going down it. There are a few camps, there's actually like three or four different campsites halfway down. But if you do make it all the way through the vault door in Kosumark Tower, you will actually be awarded with quite a few neat items down there. I can't remember off the top of my head all of them, but this is, I think it's called the Onion Bangle, which gives you quite a bit of HP. There's obviously the Dark Matter Bracelet, and there's a few other things down there that you can find, which are quite decent. Unfortunately, most of the items you get down there aren't really going to be useful for anything, because once you've completed that dungeon, that is kind of really like the maximum point of the game. That is everything you're working up towards. So anything you get down there is pretty much just for show, I would say. But yeah, as you probably guessed, the Dark Matter Bracelet is going to be on the final floor of this dungeon. But anyway, I hope this video was helpful. If you've got any questions, don't forget to leave them in the comments down below. Hit that like button, subscribe for more Final Fantasy XV content, and we'll see you next time.